Hey there YouTube and welcome to the White Hutch desktop. From here is where I'm going to be um, doing uh, one or two tutorials and reviews and let's plays etc for your pleasures. Starting off with a little application called MultiMC. The URL for it will be in the uh, link below, but you can see it here uh, in the browser address bar. Other reason for doing this is on the YouTube of us, uh, as you may remember, uh, those of you that saw the promo that Rome Beans, one of our denizens, produced for us uh, for an event that she has also organized, the Snowball Fight 2013 and the arena that she's prepared specifically for the event. With that coming up and Minecraft being its current incarnation, two semi versions, minor versions, shall we call them, uh, behind the YouTube verse, I figured this would be useful for those denizens that wish to attend that have already upgraded to 1.4.7. Uh, so we're going to have a quick look at this little utility which will allow us to run multiple versions, multiple instances uh, without having all the fuss of having to do a backup of the entire thing or find some way of retrograding it just so that you can connect blah 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 blah. We've all been there, we all know it's a pain. As I said, the link to this page will be in the description. Um, and it gives you the download. Um, also, uh, opportunity to donate to the mod author, which is not me, by the way. Uh, you download it from the link below. You find somewhere to put it. I've put it on a folder on my desktop. Here. MultiMC. You run it. It opens a window. And as you can see in the folder behind, it creates all the stuff that it's going to need. Now, this is a personal preference, but one of the first things to do, in my opinion, is this little button here, the settings. Click that and change the GUI style to fancy. As it says, you will need to restart the application. But when we do, we get an interface that looks like this, which, uh, yeah, it's much easier to see what's going on. I will just hide that from the moment so that we can focus on this. So how do we use this puppy? Well, add a new instance. Fairly straightforward. Add a new instance. OK, what we're going to do in this instance, we're going to create a current current version, which as you can see is 1.4.7. OK, there is our current version. Right, let us um, log in and play it. Play. Now this is where we uh, get to put in uh, your basic login details. Um, I will put those in now and uh, cut back and come back when we've got this in here. In addition to the fancy GUI, there is another setting that you may want to uh, incorporate um, for convenience, um, just because it saves the box popping up every time. And that's over here on the Minecraft tab of the settings. And you can have it log in automatically, uh, which is rather nice. Um, you can also start with Minecraft Maximize. Again, very, very nice. Um, but we'll go for that in a moment. For now, I'll just have the login automatically so I don't have to uh, edit out or mask my login details, which should already be in there. Anyway, let's test this theory. Uh, select our current instance and launch it for the first time by clicking Play. OK, there we go, logging in, and we're downloading our packages. Now, when it fires up, uh, by default, it will also throw up this console screen here, which uh, we'll just bring to the front for the moment. 
um, and as you can see it basically gives you some debugging so if there are any errors or um, crashes or things to worry about you will see it here okay um, right so going back to here we have our Minecraft instance um, go into single player create a new world etc etc et right so that's great we have our current instance to get onto the YouTube of us let's do it again and this time we'll create another new instance and we'll call this one YouTube of us we want to change the version this time and as you can see it gives us all the versions that are available to us all the way back to 1.2 uh, so we can even go up and try out the new snapshots if we so choose current version there we want 1.45 for the YouTube verse okay there is the YouTube verse and I'm going to give it um, so I clicked here on the icon to change the icon and I'm going to give it a chicken icon because I think it's cute there we go so YouTube verse 1.45 okay here we go. Let's launch the YouTube verse. And it's running the instance for the first time, so downloading packages after we've logged in. Up comes the console. And away we go. 1.4.5. Now all we need to do is add the server which uh, let's just close that and I will just add the server um, off camera because uh, those of you that uh, are denizens should have the address already there and I'm available or someone's available on the Skype call um, should you need it again okay so we're back and uh, before we actually go into the YouTube of us I'm going to uh, cancel, quick game, and just make a couple more setting changes here. I'm going to stop the console from firing up because I've fired it up. I know it works. I know there's no errors. Uh, I'm also going to have Minecraft start maximized, and I'm going to in increase the memory allocation to a minimum of 1024 and a maximum of 4 gigabytes for the memory allocation um, just so that uh, I can throw it everything that it's gonna need so there we go uh, now YouTube of us play Uh, I'll figure out options and everything later again off camera because this is all wrong um, but uh, yeah there we go YouTube of us there it is join server to prove that it works there we are we're in um, as you can see we are here in the arena ready for Saturday um, disconnect and there you can see Minecraft down in the bottom right Minecraft 1.45 going back to play our current instance 1.47 going in and playing whatever single world single player world or multiplayer server that we have that is current version okay well uh I hope that that has been useful and I hope as a result we can see um, a good turnout for the denizens to uh, appreciate Rome Bean's hard work. Um, have a good day and I will speak to you soon YouTube. Bye for now. <laughs>